Well, hello there, it's Thomasina from Royal British Bonnie. I am so, so sorry that I haven't made a video for ages. I have no excuses, I've just been lazy. Um, I know it's really late, but I thought I'd do for you my July haul favourites. Um, as you might notice, I have a new background. I just didn't like you guys seeing how skanky and dirty my flat was all the time. So I thought I'd do a new background. This is just my blanket and I'm sitting in like a little tenty thing. Um, so let me know what you think. Like, Let me know if it's distracting or if it's cool or what but um yeah we're just gonna roll with it for this one and see how it goes so the first thing that i've been lo lo loving during july with these shorts i picked them up from h&m end of june and they are absolutely amazing they're crochet shorts inside short but it's actually like hot pant length i don't know if you can see and then the crochet here hangs down an extra couple of inches just so you don't lose your total dignity um, they cost about £15 and they were in the shops a while ago and they did have them in white as well. I'm not sure if they still got them around but definitely worth looking for them in bigger stores. I've been obsessed with them. They're really cool. Um, yeah, and I just wanted something crochet for ages and well, like I can't crochet so obviously I had to buy it. Um, they sit quite nicely, they sit high waisted so you can wear them with crop tops and things as well which looks awesome. But yeah, very versatile and very cool I think. And if you are intrigued to see how I wear them, I will link my blog below. And I think I've got two posts already of me wearing them. So yeah, have a look if you're interested. Um, so yeah, crochet shorts from each name. I was loving those big time. Um, the next thing I picked up is a very popular item on the blogosphere at the moment. Look at me, blogosphere. Um, it is a dress that you'll recognise if you watched my last Primark haul. It's the red skater dress with black and white photographic poppies. Um, it cost me £13. I was uh, banged on about it before. It fits like a dream and it's just such... I mean, you can change it up and wear it smart, casual, day, night, hot, cold, like, whatever. It's such a bargain and, like, yeah, it's only 13 quid. so I think I've already got my, my 13 quid in wear. If not more, I love it. Get yourselves to Primark and get one if you haven't got one already. The next item is a kind of newbie, I got it end of July, it's from Boohoo and it's the first actual order I've made from Boohoo before because I've ordered from Misguided but Boohoo scares me because it's just a bit cheaper so I thought the quality wouldn't be very good but I saw this dress and it was £15 and I thought oh, I'm going to have that and I've really been enjoying it. It's a paisley shift, it's the print, I, you can see it's just oh to die for and I don't really have any orange things so I quite like this and it's quite long it literally is just straight up and down um, little sleeves um, it's just got a zip at the back and I love it I've been wearing it with heels, flats, belted, loose it's really cool um, I like the colour, I like the kind of style I like the kind of 60s vibe about it, I think that's cool and yeah, 15 quid. They have one in greeny blue that I think I'm going to get as well. It's so exactly the same print but just in a different colour. I will put the links down below if you're intrigued and you want to get your hands on one of these. The quality of them too, I'm pretty sure it's polyester. But it feels quite silky. It doesn't, it doesn't feel cheap, if that makes sense. I was expecting it to feel silky. And it does. Um, yeah, and I love it. Boohoo plays... Plaisley? Plaisley? Paisley shift. I've been living in the same pair of shoes for a month, um, not constantly, but on the weekends. Um, and it's a very odd choice considering the weather last month was just insane. I think some days it was hotter than it was in, I don't know, Barcelona or somewhere. Um, and I've been living in a pair of boots and they look like this. They're from Matalan, I'll put the link below. Um, they cost me about 20, 22 quid. And I have to say, I love them. They're just lace up black boots. They've got kind of a buckle detail on the side. Um, and they lace to that perfect point in your ankle where you're, it's not your cankle and it's not that really skinny bit that makes the rest of your legs look huge. It's just the really good point. Um, yeah, the only thing I literally hate about them is the cutout. Now I love I love a cutout boot, don't get me wrong, I love a cutout, but I do not love a cutout over my crusty heel. Um, it doesn't make me happy and yeah, I mean it's a stupid place to put a cutout, but I love the shape of the boot, so I just thought, oh, stuff the cutout. 
Um, to combat the cutout problem, I've been wearing them with thick new black socks. And you kind of can't tell, like you can tell if you look closely, but I think if you just glimpsed you wouldn't be able to tell. Um, obviously not worn socks or sorts of holes in, they have to be new so they're all black, no patches. Um, but I love them, the heel hat's really good, it reminds me of the Topshop Ambush, which I've got a pair of, so they're good day, night heel, you can change them up. And I love them, they're unbelievably comfy. And they look really cool paired with little summer dresses, like they look wicked with that red Paramount dress that I've just showed you. Um, and once again, if you're intrigued to see how I've started it up, have a look at my blog. Um, but yeah, I've been loving these, so these were Matalan laced up cut out boots, um, absolute steel, it's so useful. An accessories item that I've been loving recently and has actually got quite a lot of attention from you guys are these rings. Um, they're plain silver above the knuckle rings and they have a very sneaky secret. Um, it's a spot of DIY and a spot of imagination and if you're intrigued to know how to get a whole load of above knuckle rings that, next to nothing. Um, check out, I will link the blog link below which tells you tells you their secret and tells you how you can get a hold of them. Honestly, I'm someone who loses rings on a night out a lot of the time. My fingers drink and then they just fly everywhere. So I wanted a fair few of these just in case I lost them. And honestly, if you're like me and you want some of these rings, but you're not going to pay eight to fifteen pounds, whatever they cost in the shops nowadays, ridiculously overpriced. Then check out the blog link, and I will tell you their sneaky secret. But they are wicked. They really like just put an edge on an outfit. Um, they're really, really cool, and I've been wearing them practically every day. They're a bit of a nightmare for typing at work, but um, yeah, otherwise they're awesome. So that's a simple above the knuckle rings. Check out my post lipstick that I'm wearing today. I actually was reading, it was Lulu Trixie Bell. If you do not read her blog or watch her channel, you should do. I'll link it all down below, she's amazing. Yeah, she had a post about dupes for Ri Ri Woo and Ri Ri Boy. Obviously they sold out in Mac in absolutely no time at all. And Ri Ri Woo, oh, Ri Ri Woo, I'm not bothered up. Ri Ri Boy was insanely beautiful and I wanted a copy and she suggested this one it's by Sleek and it's called Mystic Sleek True Colour Lipstick in Mystic 783 and it is so nice it's, it's a nice it's a purple toned pink if that makes sense I would say and I really 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 like it like I'm wearing it today um, and I just think it looks really nice with the tan and just very simple makeup I'm literally just wearing mascara concealer and a bit of bronzer and it looks so nice and it's pr it's practically a dupe I think it costs about I'm gonna say seven pounds max they're not expensive sleek is the brand you can buy it at super drug. Um, the little box that comes in looks like this. Um, if you can see. Yeah, so it's Sleek Mystic Matte Lipstick. And I love it. So it's a Riri Boy dupe. Obviously a lot cheaper and a lot more available. Um, my penultimate thing is something that has had a lot of hype over the summer. Um, I'd had a lot about it didn't believe the hype, spotted it at Heathrow when I went to Greece a couple of weeks ago with my dad, spotted it at Heathrow, went to go and try it and fell in love. It is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. But I always see Lily Melrose talking about it and I thought, oh, I have to have a sniff of that. Smelt it and I was like this. And I had to buy it, and I actually got it because I got it at duty free. I got it for thirty five pounds for the one hundred ml bottle, which I think is a bargain considering when I looked on the internet, it was about forty five, nearly fifty, um, you know, from a normal shop. And I'm in love with this, and everybody does this and they smell it, but you can't help it. Like it smells incredible. It smells of coconut and sun cream, but because I wore it through the whole of my Greek holiday it just reminds me of beaches and parties 
and I just, it's delicious. So I've been obsessed with this. And it's such a big bottle that you can spray it willy-nilly. Um, the only thing is I don't feel like the smell has the staying power that other perfumes I've used have. I feel like it kind of fades quite quickly, like I can never smell it on myself. Whereas with other perfumes I can, but I do love it. And yeah, I didn't believe the hype and now I totally understand why it was hyped. Um, but yeah, so this is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess perfume. It's delish. If you haven't smelled it, you need to. My final favourite of this month is, once again, a film. Um, it's a laugh out loud amazing film. I picked it up when I was having a girly night in. Boyfriend was away, I just wanted to watch something hilarious and funny. And I saw this in Tesco's, picked it up, and I do not regret it. It has gone straight to the top of my film chart. And it is pitch perfect. If you haven't heard about it, seen it before, I think it came out last year. It's basically about an a cappella group, like a girls a cappella group, which is kind of like, you know, the glee club. They sing without music. Um, and it's so funny. Um, it's got Rebel Wilson in it. It's got Anna Kendrick in it from Twilight. She's cool. It's got Britney Snow from Hairspray. And these girls, I mean, holy moly, they can sing. And it's just funny the whole way through. Um, it's just brilliant. If you like Bridesmaids and that kind of sense of humour, you will love this. I promise you. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. So, yeah, get your hands on this. Even my boyfriend thought it was hilarious. And it's a kind of girly film. So, pitch perfect. Amazing. And that is it, chaps. That is it. We have come to the end of my favourites. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will link my blog down below. Don't forget that it's got the posts of how I styled my boots, my dress, my shorts, and the post on the rings down below. Um, so yeah, do check that out. Follow me on my blog and I'll love you forever. Um, my Instagram will also link below. I post lots of pictures of myself and my dog. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'll link my Instagram below as well, my Twitter. Yeah, I'd love it if you guys could check them out. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of all my favourites. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!